Welcome to the Garrison Savannah for this, the third day's racing of the third season here at the Garrison. This, of course, was the third day postponed from November 23rd, the Independence Day celebration races, seven big races, the featured event, the Benson and Hedges Caribbean Stakes for the two-year-olds. And certainly today's racing should be very exciting. And also a day on which we congratulate champion jockey Venice Richards on receiving the Silver Crown of Merit, the SCM, during the Independence Awards. Of course, we'll be hearing from several persons talking about Venice Richards, the champion jockey. And hopefully, we'll see the champion jockey, Venice Richards, score yet another in his long line of over 1,000 victories. Certainly, today's racing should be very special. Seven big races. Well, this is indeed the future event of today's racing, the Benson and Hedges Premium Stakes for nominated two-year-olds. A field of 12 of it, some seven will go. First one we're going to take a look at is the outstanding Trinidadian filly, Style and Flair by Happy Boy out of Stylish Run. 115 pounds to be ridden by Vishnu Singh. This is an unbeaten two-year-old filly and certainly is the outstanding favorite of odds of $1.90 to win. Coming into our picture now is horse number six. This is Mickey Cott, owned by Mr. Yusuf Mongru, to be ridden by Andy Ward. Uh, takes along 118 pounds. Mickey Cott has won her last, has won his last three starts, and should be the outstanding Barbadian favourite. In fact, Mickey Cott is at odds of two to one at this stage. Horse number nine is Fisher Boy, owned by Mr. Chalna Jones and trained by the owner uh, Bakewell by, by leading star out of the Streaker. Fisher Boy ridden by Patrick Husbands, 118 pounds. And falling on behind Fisher Boy is horse number eight, that's Dancing Gray, to be ridden by champion jockey Venice Richards SCN. Dancing Gray, an outstanding uh, two year old in Barbados. So, Gray Coat, Dancing Gray. And this is horse number one, Aslan, to be ridden by Jonathan Jones, a Bay Coat by Happy Boy out of Battle Lee. Aslan, horse number one, Jonathan Jones, 118 pounds. This is the Whirlwind Farms Patriot to be ridden by Ricky Jadu, 118 pounds. Patriot, a Bay Colt by Happy Boy out of White, out of Decorated. That's Patriot, ridden by Jadu. The final entry in this event is horse number 11 to be ridden by Burton Evans. This is a Love Letters, a Bay Philly by Happy Boy out of Laura Jenny, 115 pounds. Love Letters. The outstanding Benson and Hedges Premium Stakes and Trophy. The outstanding trophy which will go to the winner in addition to a winner's check of $15,000. Total prize money in this event, $25,000. Race sponsored, of course, by the British American Tobacco Company. They've been sponsoring ra this race for several years at this stage. A good crowd, a good crowd on hand at the Garrison Savannah today for this, which would have been the Independence Feature Race Day on uh, November 23rd, moved to December 7th, and certainly the fans have come out in the numbers for today's racing. Let's now join commentators Mike Goddard and Kelly Walcott for this, the Feature Race, the Benton and Hedges Premium sticks and trophy like flashing for the 1991 Benson and Hedges and they're off and running love letters a little bit slowly out and out in front already is Patriot Aslan also quickly out but coming across from the outside is Style and Flair let's see how much speed she's got and she goes by on the outside like a breath of fresh air Style and Flair lengthening beautifully Aslan up on the inside Patriot is there towards the outside and running into contention is <laughs> love letters and this is speed Mickey Cott comes next three and a half furlongs to go and let's see what's in front Style and Flair by two already towards the outside and looking good that's on the inside is Aslan towards the outside love letter showing speed Patriot is there Mickey Cott comes next then comes Dancing Gray and the last one at the stage is Fisher Boy as they come to the drill all is Style and Flair in front but Aslan going ominously ominously well on the outside Patriot is there as well here comes Mickey Cott with a run from the rear Dancing Gray Fisher Boy all making ground as they come racing towards the corner it's still Style and Flair in front Aslan challenging strongly on the outside here comes Mickey Cott with a run around the field I don't see Dancing Gray Inside the final for long and it's style and flair. Here comes Mickey Cotty, might be a little bit too late, trying desperately. On the inside, Aslan coming again. But it is style and flair running on gamely. She's gonna win it. Wins it now from Mickey Cott. In third position is Aslan. Then there's Patriot dancing great Fisher Boy. And a long way back to Love Letters. In a moment I'll have a full rundown for you. Here comes the winner. Being let in by some very proud connections. Winning jockey. Vishnu Singh from Trinidad, Style and Flair, winner of the 1991 Benson and Hedges Premium Stakes. Certainly looks beautifully turned out, Kelly. Yeah, certainly, Mike. And um, now we have uh, in the last six runnings of, of this event, 
We have Rodney Jones featuring with Melanie Sam uh, Countess Melanie in 87, Melanie Samantha in 89, and uh, now Style and Flair in 91. As you are aware, to, today's racing is in celebration of, the, celebration of the country's 25th anniversary of independence, and particularly are named after our past uh, Governor Generals, including the present Governor General, Dame uh, Nita Barr. But acting for her this afternoon is the Chief Justice, Sir Dennis Williams. He's the Acting Governor General and is here at the races this afternoon. We welcome you to the Garrison Savannah. With him is his party in the grandstand. But let's join our commentators now for the first race, the Sir Hugh Springer Independence Trophy Handicap. Third racing day for the third season, 1991. They're off and running, Vagrant Dancer and Country Bliss was slowly away. To the front runners, so Super Sunrise on the outside takes up the early lead. She goes clear by a length from Magical Bliss between horses. On the inside is Vendetta. Then comes Vagrant Dancer plowing his way between horses. And uh, then there is going with three furlongs to go now they're still out front and going super uh, super sunrise in front she's clear by half length magical bliss on the outside is second on the inside is stan home plowing his way between horses are is bambina vendetta drops back to be last they race with two and a half furlongs to go on the outside now they're still magical bliss now pointing from super sunrise on the inside between horses is stan home bambina looking for a way through so to his vagrant dancer then comes uh the back of the field is vendetta the other one is completely out of it we just over for long to go down the home stretch they come on the inside still super sunrise magical bliss on the outside then comes stan home between horses wide on the outside being produced now is vagrant dance and bambina inside the final for long on the inside now it's stan home vagrant dance and magical bliss but stan home is coming to the wire this one is going to win it easily he, she wins it now by a line for the half from vagrant dance on the outside magical bliss finishes third then comes super sunrise pisces bambina then comes horse number four country bliss and vendetta last of the lot Horse number two, Stan Holm, the winner of the first race on the day's card, the Sir Hugh Springer Independence Trophy Handicap, which was over 1,000 meters for the West Indian bred two-year-olds. Horse number two, Stan Holm, with fat husbands in the saddle, took along 126 pounds. This bay colt by Happy Boy out of Arahab is being led back by owner uh, Mr. Big Beast, Todd Edwards on the right, and Arnold Armstrong on the left. The second race on today's card is the Sir Dighton Ward Independence Trophy Handicap. Also over 1,000 meters for West Indian bred two-year-olds. There were 10 entered in this one, the nine, the seven, seven declared to face the start, and we take a look at the field. Horse number two, touchdown, is a non-starter, so we go on to three, Butch Cassidy. Butch Cassidy is written by Brett Callahan, takes along 113 pounds. Horse number seven, also leading the parade ring, is Iron King, R. Jadu is the jockey, 113. Number six, that's momentum. Venice Richards, top weight of 126 pounds. Then we go back to number eight, finance minister. This one is written by Anderson Ward, 117. And on to number nine, spark, Vishnu Singh, 112. Then finally we pick up horse number one, shining star, Carly Freitas, 116. And the final start is horse number four, Duck for Dinner. Duck for Dinner is ridden by Pat Husbands, 106, plus four, 110. Pat, of course, is the winning jockey. He won the first race on Stan Home, also for the Charlie Jones stable. We join our commentators now for the second race, the Sir Dighton Ward Independence Trophy Handicap. Uh, we have Shannon Star on one, Butch Cassidy two, Duck for Dinner three, then we have Momentum, Iron King, Finance Minister, and Spark. And there away, it's a level break. The first to show is Butch Cassidy. On the outside, behind this one comes Duck for Dinner. On the inside, Shining Star, who gave lots of trouble to go in. Behind these is Iron King. Two lights back, we come to Finance Minister. Momentum and Spark is the last one. As they race over the hill now, the leader of three, four lights here is Butch Cassidy. Three lines back before you come to Shining Star. Iron King is under pressure. Behind this one comes Finance Minister. Duck for dinner. Momentum and Spark are completely out of it. With two full hours to go, Butch Cassidy has completely cleared out. Then second comes Shining Star getting a slap of the tickle. Iron King is in third. But they all have to run to catch the leader, Butch Cassidy, who now gets a lash from Brett Callahan and she just quickens clear. It's Butch Cassidy in front by two. On the inside side, ready for off a second will be Shining Star. Iron King trying to close also on the outside with a late move. Here comes Duck. 
for Denna. But Butch Cassidy is going clear. He's stretching out, easing home by six from Shining Star. Iron King is third. Then came Duck for Denna. Finance finishes spark and momentum. Winner horse number three, Butch Cassidy. Written by Brett Callahan, taking along 108 pounds. He's one of the first event, being, being led in by some very proud connections. Second was horse number one, Shining Star. Third, horse number seven, Iron King. Uh, fourth, horse number four, Duck for Dinner. With me, the premier racing commentator in the Caribbean, Mike Goddard. Mike has probably seen Venice Richards ride more places than anybody here at the Garrison Savannah. Mike, Venice Richards, now Venice Richards SCM. Well, it's certainly an honor for Venice Richards. He's contributed so much to horse racing in the past. Venice has not only been a jockey, he's been an ambassador for Barbados. He's been an ambassador for horse racing as well. And he's been an example for the young jockeys to follow. Perfect gentleman if ever there was one around. He's not one for a lot of talking, but when he does, his quick wit is always there. And you're really a, a shy and withdrawn person. But Venice, I am very pleased that the government of Barbados has seen it fit to honor Venice Richards for his contribution to horse racing. I can only hope that more people in horse racing will be recognized for the contribution which they have made to what I consider an industry because horse racing employs hundreds of people. I mean, when you look around at the, the number of stables in the island, the amount of people that are working in horse racing, it is certainly a tremendous industry. And it's good to see that people who are working in it are being recognized for their contribution. Uh, any particular race you remember of Venice Richards? I mean, obvious question, Mike, Venice Richards. So many races, I spoke to Scobie Breezy, and of course, he, his memory is Sanford Prince in the Coxburg World Cup. Perhaps your memory will go back a little further of Venice Richards winning a race. I always remember a race, Venice Road, Be Hero in Trinidad, the horse belonging to Patsy Springer going six for longs. And the favorite was a horse called Midway Island. And about halfway up the home stretch, Venice was still sitting in second position on the inside. With about four strides to go, he won it by about a length going away. Mm. And he came to Barbados with the same horse going nine for longs and sat down at the back of the field, made his way gradually around the field and won it in the last couple of strides. And at the end of the race, Patsy Springer said, whoa, whoa, what happened? What are you waiting for? Venice said I hadn't beaten from the start. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we've certainly seen some good performances from, from Venice Richards. He's done some excellent riding in Trinidad here in Barbados. I think another good ride I saw him put down here at the garrison was Air of Spring going five for longs, five and a half for longs. And uh, when there were about less than 25 yards from the winning pole, he was running six on the inside and he won by two lengths going away. So, you know, there's so many good memories about Venice Richards. Okay, that's Michael Goddard reminiscing a bit about champion jockey Venice Richards, SCM. Now let's watch the master in action, Venice Richards, SCM, aboard Master Dancer, in a good victory in race three, the Sir John Stowe Independence Trophy Handicap. Light flashing, and they're on their way, and between me and you simply flew out. But going by on the outside is Fifth Avenue, Mer Anna Mercedes also quickly out. As they sort themselves out, it's the grey master dancer who puts his head in front. He's in front by a length now. Up on the outside comes the pirate traveling smoothly. On the inside between me and you is relegated. Also up there is Anna Mercedes. But as they go past the four for long pole, it's Anna Mercedes and master dancer. Master dancer showing on the outside. Anna Mercedes on the inside. In fact, Anna Mercedes puts her head in front now. She's in front from master dancer. The pirate on the outside. Raging bull right there. Then comes between me and you. Making some ground from the rear comes Fifth Avenue on the inside recline also making ground and the back mark at this stage is back raise as they come racing towards the two for long pole on the outside is the pirate who picks it up master dancer still there raging bull going beautifully on the outside on the inside comes Fifth Avenue with a run on the outside as well as they come racing towards the corner it's still the pirate here comes Fifth Avenue wide on the outside and master dancer slipping through on the inside as they come inside the final for long master dancer and the pirate they dispute it Fifth Avenue challenges strongly on the outside here comes back raise running through the crowd as well but it is Master Dancer, he's put them all away, coming on strongly in the end, he's going to win it, wins it now by two from Fifth Avenue, the Pirate is third, then comes Buck Riz with a long run, he's fourth, then comes Regin Bull, Pitag, then there's Between Me and You, Recline, and the last one is Anna Mercedes, in a moment I'll have a full rundown for you. Well, here comes the winner, Master Dancer, being led in by Mr. and Mrs. Bill Marshall, winning jockey Venice Richards. Another man who knows quite a bit about Venice Richards is trainer Arthur Scobie Breezley. He rides all, pretty well all my horses and I was really delighted for Venice. He has been a great asset to the racing in the West Indies for many years and I'm sure everyone in the West Indies was just as pleased as what I am. It, it's a great honor for him and he richly deserved it. 
Yes, Kobe, any particular race that come, comes to mind, that Venice rode a horse for you, which, which one would come to mind quickly? Well, naturally, the, the Gold Cup. <laughs> He'd won two and was, was a little unlucky in the third one. You know, he was a little lucky, could have won the three on in for me, you know. But at least he's won two. And he's ridden a lot of great races for me, and I hope he rides another great one today and wins on Saint Paris. Race four on today's third day is the Minister of Sports and Tourism Independence Trophy Handicap. And this, of course, is named after our present Minister of Sports and Tourism, Minister Wes Hall. And here at stake is a trophy presented by the Honorable Minister himself and a stake of over $15,000 with the winner, hopefully to receive in excess of $9,000. We join our commentators now for the fourth race, the Minister of Sports and Tourism Independence Trophy Handicap. They're off and running, level break. Uh, catch the Concord slowest into stride, but Woolsey and Redor on the outside. Dominora pulls herself to the front uh, runners on, along the inside. Redor is third, then comes Se Paris in fourth. Ara Ed the Eagle lapped on the outside of that one, then comes Catch the Concord and a long way about his in caught. That one missed the break completely and he's making an effort to catch his feel as they swing the bottom turner. Now with seven furlongs to go, it is Dominora and Woozy disputing the early lead. Two lengths back in third is Red Aura. Then comes Ara Ed the Eagle pulling his way between horses on the outside of that one, Catch the Concord. Then comes Se Paris and seven lengths of drifts up. Se Paris is in caught. They race around the top turn with five furlongs to go and Dominora now. Jono Jones puts this one to front. As